Hi students, this afternoon we're going to talk you through uh, your task 2 feature article, a quick process exemplar but also um, some additional assistance in preparing for that exam. So as a reminder you have a block exam where you're required to respond in feature article genre to an unseen question about classical poems, a minimum of two that we have studied this term. You must only look at the classical poems and not any modern songs. You've got 90 minutes for the exam with a 10 minute perusal time and you need to write five to 700 words. In the unit, um, you've analysed poem as, and, endure, and identified sorry, the enduring message. You've also constructed analytical paragraphs and hopefully have started looking at some human condition paragraphs as well. We are going to review human condition and the poems um, this week in class. We will also review the feature article genre and deconstruct some examples. You're going to do a practice exam and then you'll get some feedback on that prior to sitting in the block exam next Tuesday or Tuesday, sorry, the 21st of March. The entire feature article is based on the notion of human condition. So you need to understand that human condition is anything that has to do with the unique qualities of being human. So that could be the meaning of life, dealing with death, isolation, relationships, the quest for gratification, growing older, and many, many more. So each poet expresses their thoughts and ideas in an unrestricted fashion. They can push the boundaries about ideas surrounding the human condition. So in preparation, you need to identify what the human condition is for each of the poems and then choose two poems that you're going to talk about in your feature article. For the purpose of our task, human condition relates to the theme of the poem. So that love is and then whatever the topic of the poem is. So for example, Sonnet 43, the topic is love, the theme is that love is eternal and everlasting. You therefore need to know the topic and theme for each of the classic poems and we'll review those in class this week. Even though you're writing in a feature article genre, you still need to provide evidence to substantiate your point of view. So you need to select two quotes from each poem that conclusively relate to the theme. You may like to select quotes that use certain techniques like symbolism or imagery, or simply choose two quotes that show how the poet explored the human condition in an effective way. For the purpose of the example and all practice exams, we're going to go with the question, how do classical poems skillfully explore the human condition? For the exemplar, we're having a look at the poem Sonnet 43 by Elizabeth Barrett Browning and Spring and Fall by G.M. Hopkins. In regards to the excerpt that you're going to be presented in the following slides, there's a few things that you should take note of. Feature articles have a conversational tone. They have a clear angle that addresses the task question. They follow the structure and sequence information logically. Your evidence is purposeful and links to your angle. You've got a picture with captions, a clever headline and an abstract that introduces your angle and obviously a byline being your name. So here you can see we've got the first part of our feature article here. We've got a headline that's striking and relevant to the task. We then have an abstract, which is three to five sentences explaining and exploring the human condition. A byline, which is your name. Okay, we've got a picture and a caption. Now it's really not necessary to draw a picture. A simple box that would show where the picture would be, but a caption is important. So don't get caught up trying to draw a picture in the middle of the exam. It's not necessary. Just show the reader that you would have included a picture and explain what that would be about through the use of a clever caption. After we introduce uh, your feature article topic through your abstract, we then move into an introduction. So we have a paragraph that explains the works of literature and how they convey the human condition. And you're going to introduce the two poems by title, date and author. Now, it's important to understand that within a feature article genre, we have a number of short paragraphs. Um, so you need to make sure that you will leave a space in your writing that shows your paragraphing. For paragraph two, you need to explain what the two human conditions are, explicitly state the two, explain how they are shown, think about, you know, what's your evidence? Is it word choice or poetic techniques? You need to link to your quotes and obviously have a clear angle. Okay. If you'd like to think of angle as a thesis, it's not a bad way of looking at it. We then move into an explicit analysis of each of the two texts. So we start with a paragraph, which is simply a topic sentence that introduces the poem, the title, the author, and the angle. 
We then have a second paragraph, which is our explain paragraph. So we explain how the theme is a human condition and then explain that the poem skillfully shows the human condition of whatever the theme is that you identified. It's important that within your language choices, you have that conversational tone, that you are persuasive and there are high use of adjectives. After we've prefaced what the text is about, we're then going to provide our evidence. So we need to provide evidence, quote, and quote analysis. So for your quote analysis, it's important to think about who is the author speaking to, why has the author written these words, or what is she or he trying to achieve. Look at the language techniques, what is he or she trying to achieve, and how does the quote prove your angle. And then you repeat in a separate paragraph for your second piece of evidence. Now whilst quote and analysis is analytical, you still need to try and maintain that conversational tone, um, which is a feature of the genre. After you provide your two pieces of evidence, we do need a linking paragraph, which is a transition to the second poem. So something whilst above poem shows your angle, so too does the next poem. And then you're going to repeat that middle process there with evidence and analysis from your second text. We need to finish off our feature article with a conclusion where we restate our angle. We say that the two poems skillfully show the human condition and we explain how. And we're going to finish with a general statement about the effectiveness of classical poetry to show modern readers the human condition. As a reminder, we want to have a nice conversational tone throughout our feature article, a clear angle that addresses the task question. You want to follow the structure that is inside your task sheet that will be there for you in the exam. Your evidence is purposeful and links to your angle. You've got a picture with a caption, a clever headline, an abstract that introduces your angle, and your work is written in two columns. As we mentioned in the example, you need to have an angle. So for your article, you must have a clear angle and this is what you are proving across the whole article. It needs to address the significance of classical poetry. Your angle should answer the question, how do classical poems skillfully explore the human condition? Now remember, this is our practice question. So the question on the exam might have a different adjective in there. So you need to make sure that you're responding to the question on the exam paper. Your angle is one sentence and needs to include poetry, its significance, the human condition, and how they skillfully explore these ideas. So for example, classical poetry is a significant art form that skillfully explores the human condition through an in-depth analysis of key human experiences such as love, life, and death. By now you should be quite familiar with the structure. We need a headline that's catchy and clever, a title showing the angle of your article, a byline which has your name, an abstract which is three to five sentences explaining or exploring the human condition. Your byline can go at the end of that abstract just like the example did. You need to include an image with a caption, remembering that we're not actually drawing that image, just a box showing where it would be, and you need to write in two columns. What we've got here are some considerations for your assessment. So you might like to look at these pairs of poems together. So you might choose I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud by Williams Word, William Wordsworth sorry, or To Autumn by John Keats. Or you could look at Sonnet 43 by Barrett Browning and The Garden of Love by Blake. A third option could be I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud with The Garden of Love. Okay, um, we're going to talk you through on the next couple of slides where you might like to go with each of these texts and some considerations that should assist you in choosing a particular angle or strategy to tackle this task. Option one was looking at I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud and comparing that to Who Autumn by John Keats. So both poems in this instance are exploring the enduring message of the beauty to be found in nature. Both are highlighting the beneficial influence of nature on human intellectual development and spiritual well-being. That could be the angle that you tackle those two texts. Option two was Sonnet 43 by Barrett Browning and Garden of Love by Blake. Both poems are exploring the elements of love and loss. So here you might like to look at the natural phenomenon to explore these themes, the moon and nighttime or gardens and growth. Option three is a bit of a different angle where you could explore the reflections based on experiences. So these two examples here, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud and the Garden of Love by Blake, 
focus on positive and negative reflections and the way this changes the author's current situation. On the next three slides, we've got some possible sentences that might get you started with your feature article genre for option one, two, and three. So once you choose your option, go to the relevant slide, have a read and see if that'll help you generate some ideas and get started. Sentence starters for option three. Once you choose your option, we need to start working on drafting your feature article. So your scaffold is on the inside of your task sheet, but we're going to talk you through how to write a feature article here now as well. This is exactly the same as the example that we just went through. So if you want to go back there and have a look at that, you're more than welcome. As we said with the feature article genre, we have lots of short paragraphs. So you need to have an introduction. It's, it's two paragraphs in this instance. So the first one is on works of literature and how they convey the human condition. And then the second introduces, sorry, and then we introduce the two poems, title, dates, and authors. The second poem um, elaborates on your human conditions and then how they are shown. So looking at your evidence and then your angle. Our teal structure still applies, even though we're writing in a feature article genre. The only thing to remember here is that for each element, we actually start a new paragraph. So whilst we say teal is our paragraph structure, it's each of the sections of our analysis for each poem here. So you need to read through the information that's on this slide and make sure that you are writing our short paragraphs with a combination of different sentence types, ensuring that you are persuasive, um, but still being accurate and going into depth with your analysis and explanations. Everything needs to link to your angle. As we said, you need to finish off with a conclusion, restate your angle, say that the, tool poem, the two poems through the use of whatever you chose skillfully show the human condition, and then you need to finish with a general statement about the effectiveness of classical poetry to show modern readers the human condition. Whilst you are completing this under exam conditions, you can do a lot to prepare for this task. You could go into the exam with your practice exam, your entire feature article written in your mind, obviously you can't take any notes in, and then just reproduce it on the spot, ensuring that you change a word in your angle to meet the task question that is unseen. A few things to remind you in regards to features of this genre, are they, your article needs to have a striking headline, an imaginative abstract, a clear angle, background information that outlines the issue about human conditions that's going to feature in your abstract. You need to use emotive and colourful language, selective facts to persuade and entertain, so they're the quotes from your poems, a variation of sentence length, but generally they're short, sharp sentences. It's quite a quick moving genre. We've got our short paragraphs. You must have a graphic with a caption. We're not drawing it, a simple box and then writing a caption underneath and you need to write it in two columns. If you have any questions, ask your classroom teacher. There's lots of prep that can be done for this task. So um, get going, have a go at writing, check in with your teacher and we'll see what we can do to make sure that you are best prepared. Good luck.